Hello, this is Nintendo 14, playthrough on Paper Mario. Uh, chapter 7 interlude in the last part. We defeated Huff and Puff, and in this part, we're going to be playing as Peach for the last time here. So get ready, folks. Also, in the last uh, Peach event, we got the Sneaky Parasol. Uh, with this, we, we were able to transfer, use the B button and transform to, into anything, really. Uh, fortunately, this doesn't work with Twink, apparently. And, and like I said in the last Peach event, uh, if you're gonna do something, or if you're gonna get something, uh, now's the time you want to do it, because with this ability, it's gonna be a lot easier to just to try and do whatever it is you're, you're trying to do, so. I might spend a little bit of time just doing that, that so let's just go over to these, uh, Koopa Trolls right here. They don't see us, apparently, like, for right next to them. But we're just gonna just use a sneaky parasol and do that, and we turn into, a uh, Koopa Troll, so that means, uh, we don't have to sneak around anymore. We can... We could just be in disguise and just don't have to worry about any of this. Uh, so that that gives us the the ability to uh, just really just roam around this area freely. Uh, I don't think you, you actually need to. Uh, this area with all this gone, uh, really, there's no point in just uh, doing that anyways. But uh, there's a couple of things I want to throw in here. I want to throw in the jam and jelly, and I want to go ahead and try and find all the items I can. I don't think there's that many items in this area, but I'll, I'll try my best to find any items before we uh, actually start start up what we're trying to do here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, comb comb every single part of this area. I believe there's something. I want to check this library. Uh, one, uh, I'm not sh exactly sure if there's really anything in this area, but you know you always want to be sure here. And let's see. Let's just see here. Uh, bother patrolling. Uh, I to be honest, I actually never went in the, in here, uh, in this in this part. Uh, this is kind of weird. There's a looks of it. There's a live stream up there. I don't think we can actually get up there because apparently uh, Peach still can't jump uh, when when you're when she's disguised. All right. So oh, oh okay. Get the shooting star. Jesus, I didn't know that that happened. All right. So come in here. You get the shooting star up. That'd be really good to put in the box. So I guess we learn everything or a new thing every day. I'll be sure to put that in the into the magic box so uh, Mario can go ahead and grab it. Uh, let's let's see what else we can get in here. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and go downstairs here, and let's just check these these other rooms here. There's a Koopa right here. All right, telling us to stop loitering. All right, so let's go into this area again. See if there's anything different. Maybe maybe a plate of cookies. That'd be really cool, but doubt it. Alright. Anything here. Just gotta, like, survey this area. This might take a little longer. Plus, uh, on the bright side, there's not really that much I want to do uh, before we start Chapter 7. So, uh, I might just uh, start immediately. There might be one thing I could do, but I actually kind of forgot what I was going to do, but I'll, I'll try and uh, I'll try and uh, uh, try and remember what I'm trying to, trying to do. So, that's going to be it. Oh, and this, this area right here, we didn't actually go in this area. There's a chest right here with another item. This one will have the last stand badge. Uh, Mario's in danger, uh, receives only half the damage. I don't really see it as a way to... It's not really a, too much of use, use because... Uh, because, wait, uh, let me go back in this area, but... You only have... For that badge to work, you only have to have uh, 5 HP. And, you know, half damage. Uh, plus, with these enemies, uh, they're going to do a lot of damage anyways. So oh, it's not really that useful if you ask me. So anyways, there's a toad in here. Uh, actually, I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. Revert back to Peach and then open these little closets. And there's a toad right here. I don't believe he gives you anything, but... But later on, he'll be he'll be useful. Not that. <laughs> You're not, not that, you know, it's like another Peach event. But something else might happen with this area. But uh, what else is here? Just just some dialogues, I guess. There's some stragglers. I mean, there's, just some, there's some survivors. In this area, I mean, it's not like just they all got slaughtered. But anyways, now we gotta be. Uh, now we reverted back to normal. We have to actually just uh, carefully get back to get back to upstairs because I don't believe I don't believe you can you can turn into the spot the searchlight guys. So let's just uh, just run up here. Jeez, just go. All right, I I need to check that last room. So let me go ahead and go back up here and uh, turn back into a Cooper patrol, and then I'll meet you guys downstairs again. All right, T. Back downstairs with a brand new uh, set of 
Koopa Patrol Arbor. Let's just check this kitchen to see if there's anything else in this area. Uh, anything hidden in right here? Nope. Okay, so that should be should be it for uh, for uh, Peach. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any more items you can possibly get in these Peach events. So I might as well just go ahead and drop off the the items that I have in in the magic box. And you know what? Let's actually progress in this. Let's progress in. Wait, no, that's the wrong area. Let's actually progress it with this uh, Peach event, and that'll be that. So we got the sneaky parasol. We still gotta try and figure out exactly what you're supposed to do. Shooting star. And last stand. Uh, I think I think I showed off where you can actually find the other the other magical chest that's, that's like this. Uh, you can go to the, uh, the shooting star submit. And you can actually get it. Alright. So without further ado, let's just actually just start with this uh with this uh peach event. So if you if you already got all the items for some reason or just somehow then just uh, go up here and just start immediately. But I, I thought it would be nice just to, uh, just to show all that. Just because, you know, this is the last time you'll be able to do any of this. So, alright. We're going to try and go upstairs and try and make a run for it, I guess. Maybe try and find a parachute and just jump. But I guess these uh, Koopa Patrols aren't going to think too uh, highly of it. They're just going to instead treat us like any other Koopa Patrols and just give us uh, jobs. And apparently nobody really cares about uh, just twink around. Um, apparently, uh, uh, these Koopa Trolls, as long as uh, we're not Peach, uh, twink is non-existent. Anyways, uh, I guess he's gonna go back and guard that door. We gotta take this key here and find a uh, clubba. Maybe he was the one. He was that clubba that we power, uh, power bombed in a couple couple parts ago. It was so long ago. Anyways, just uh, guess that key that we got just. It opens this door right here. Castle key. Alright. And here, here he is right here. And some, yeah, that's a little weird. The dialogue was there even though we were able to move. So. He's very sleepy. Uh, he's, wake up. Alright, fine. Don't wake up. Just, hello. I'm, I'm Princess Peach. This guy will say a different dialogue depending on what what uh, you are. Like Koopa Patrol, Princess Peach. Or if you... Uh, actually turn into him. You can turn into him too. And hey, it's you. No, it's just me. He's like, seeing himself, seeing himself in the mirror. And if, uh, let's just check this uh, outer area here. Yeah, it's a little weird how it's structured. Uh, all this. This door right here can't be, can't be locked, unfortunately. So we can't like just take the bottom, bottom part of this area. Oh, uh, stop, stop doing that. That's 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 like the creepiest dialogue in this entire game, where he just does that. Ugh. Anyways, just just screw him trying to get up here. We're just gonna be him instead. It's a whole lot easier. And and let's just uh, as a clubber, that we uh, who knows if this was the club club that got power bombed. Let's just uh, go on up ahead, on patrol. We can pass through. Yes, we can. Because I'm I'm the boss. I'm I'm just a uh, higher higher class trooper. Anyways, uh, through these flashlights and. Just like that, we could just uh, progress, progress again. I'm not sure why uh, Bowser, Bowser has to have clubbers on top. It's just a little inconsistent. Maybe just have Koopa Trolls all over the areas. I'm on thin ice, buddy. What, what do you mean? All right, let's go through the door. Uh, nothing really doing. Uh, I think like those. Oh, there's a. Uh, uh, let me hold off. I'm gonna say this is the window that that Bowser crashed into and then uh, threw Mario out of. And we're just uh, just gonna keep on going, just trying to make a run for it. See as far, see how far we can get. Just that'll be that. Anyways, uh, what was I gonna go into? Uh, weekend's almost here. It's uh, it's a Wednesday. We're halfway there, and uh, I never thought that I'd. <laughs> I I tried to remember the lyrics. Is this is a song called "Halfway There"? It's from Big Time Rush. This is a, this is an old show. It's like five years ago. Didn't feel that. Uh, it didn't really feel that long, because I still remember the the earlier, the earlier uh, Nickelodeon shows. And Big Time Rush happens to be one of those shows that it, is, it was one of those last shows that I started watching. I didn't watch uh, too much of of it really, because that was just the point where I'm just gonna just stop, just stop uh, watching 
uh, cartoons in general, Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. Uh, who knows? Uh, when Sonic Boom, once that comes out on, on TV, maybe I'll I'll get back into Cartoon Network. Who never know? Or who, who knows? But then again, I'm I'm not really that big on these new shows for Cartoon Network, such as uh, was it regular show? Uh, what was that other one? Amazing World of Gumball. Those, those are really just fit me. They're nothing, nothing compared to the older uh, shows. So Hufflepuff is gone. We got our six star spirit. This is wait. Did you did you give us your name? There's only one star spirit just trapped. We came so far. We just one more Mario. We shall give the give us the power that that's kind of like similar to the second one a lullaby. Anyways, the most important part is our star energy goes up by six. We can now use timeout, which is the same. If you think about it, it's pretty much just, just the same thing as either being put asleep or getting dizzied or d dazed for a right grammar. This guy, did this guy ever put his name? Maybe, maybe like in the very first dialogue that I just barely read. All right, just well, just to just to believe that we're almost done with this. Just one more chapter, and then that's it. We're gonna go up to this, just somehow go up there and. And try and be Bowser. And I saw uh, like a Lulu. There's like a Lulu in the background. I want to actually talk to her. I, I don't know. Uh, some for some reason she's over there. I'm not sure how. I didn't uh, catch her over there. Uh, sometimes, but let's just go uh, talk to her. I don't like Lester. Okay, so it's just gonna be like some sort of mom, I guess. She's like some sort of mother figure, figure to like Lester, even though. Uh, yeah, she's like uh, like Lester's girlfriend. So uh, nothing really you can uh, do in this area. You can just uh, unless if you just miss any side things. I kind of actually went uh, got all the side things you can get in this chapter while I was uh, progressing, progressing through it. So I, I think that's all I could really do. I think uh, now remember what I was thinking about doing. Oh, uh, there there are some optional bosses, shall we say, that we can do. Uh, let me check my levels real quick. Let's see if, uh, if it's actually safe. Uh, 17. That's usually, er, not usually, but that's around the window that I said uh, for uh, for uh, doing these boss battles. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do those battles since, you know, I have a little bit more time. I think I'll just, uh, let's see here. I got some badges here. I want to go ahead and re-equip some badges here. And let's see here. Hmm. I don't need these uh, charge badges anymore. just want to get like a loadout that, where I can just hit hard. Uh, happy heart would be good because I, I need to stop off on HP. Uh, let's see here, power rush that'd be great. In case if you know you, know, you never know what what could happen. All right, so one of two bosses that we can uh, go after. One's located back in the shy guy toy box. You, as you can remember, in the shy guy toy box, this was uh, one enemy that was guarding this chest. It was a black shy guy. This this black shy guy. Uh, Supposed to be a really tough threat, and I was uh, holding off on fighting them until I can get a uh, higher level. So I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, actually do that. I'm not exactly sure uh, where you need to, which station it, it was at, but I'll try and uh, remember. I think it's in the blue station. I might be wrong, might be right or wrong on this, but let's just uh, make a wild guess here. I think he's this way. There he is. All right, I'm ready to fight you. We we want. Him. Grow from the chest. I mean, it's not like it, it contains things important. But no, I I, I want to fight you. I, I, I didn't say don't fight. All right, I, I want that. I want to fight. I want to fight. Let's, let's do it. I mean, you're a black shy guy. Why is that supposed to be some sort of racial thing? I'm not, not afraid of you. Let's let's go. Go go ahead, Taldo. Anti guy. This is an anti guy. His attacks are so intense that he's also called the deadly guy. Max GSP 50, attack power 10, Jesus. Attack power, or defense power 0, luckily. His attack power is 12 when he does that acrobatic attack, so just dodge it. Uh, this shy guy is pretty much just like the other shy guys, but the the fact that his uh, base attack power is double digits, that's that's pretty scary. So you want to make sure you have enough HP. I only have, I only have 30. Uh, status affections like chill out, time out, or uh, lullaby are also pretty good to use. Uh, I'd actually go for the chill out just to be on the absolute safe side. And maybe set up a water block with sushi. 
or maybe a cloud uh, that assuming that if you uh, powered up lackluster there's an ability where uh, you can where you can reduce the ability or reduce the accuracy of of your enemies which is pretty good so let me go ahead and make use of these uh, abilities that I got here I got the mega smash from the flower fields this this batch is pretty pretty devastating it deals 10 damage I believe uh, I forget exactly where where all that power comes from. I think uh, I'm not actually, exactly sure, but I'll, I'll I'll try and figure out eventually. But let me just, let me just get these uh, power bounces here. We gotta get as much damage as we can because we gotta pretty much just uh, survive this war of attrition, if you want to call it that. Uh, from where this is going, uh, I can deal I can hold off 10 h or 10 HP, which is uh, normal for just uh, two turns. Plus, I'm draining through my flower points already. We gotta make sure we can take this guy down as soon as we can. That's the real trick with these uh, anti guys. Luckily, he's only doing that attack because it's a lot weaker if he just does like a uh, the nudge thing. All right, I think I'll go ahead and let's see here. Um, nothing really doing. I, I I might as well just. I think I'm better off just uh, sticking with Gumbario. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, charge, and then I'll just use up the rest of my flower points on. On Mario's uh, mega mega smash, that's my best option right here, and he should uh, he should uh, go down this next turn. And luckily, uh, he 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 didn't have enough uh, attack power to actually take me down. Thankfully for the chill out, so we just uh, take him down and we should get only 13 star points. But a waste. But he, he's had had the chest that he, he was uh, guarding. I wonder what that is. By beating the anti guy, you get the power plus badge. This will increase Mario's jump and hammer atta attack powers by one. So in, in general, just uh, it increases his base attack by one. This is this is pretty good uh, if you're using the if you're using jumps because you can just uh, say you, you can just uh, from where we're at right now. If we equip that right now, we'll jump and then we'll do a four and then we'll do another four. So that's a total of eight. And that anti guy really. Uh, beat us up got only nine nine heart points and no flower points I think I'm I'm real confident that we can try and tackle this other boss it's by uh, where Colorado is uh, I might as well just uh, go ahead and do that I think that's the last thing we're, we're gonna do before we head off to uh, the next chapter so we could go ahead and heal up and I'll be that I think uh, I don't know this next I'll, I'll come I commentate to this next area because I barely show up show off myself just rested but this next boss, I think this one might be tougher than than uh, the one we just fought. Simply put, because you know the anti guy really didn't have any attacks that are more that are any different from the other shy guys in in the shy guy toy box. But this other guy, Kensi Koopa, this guy, he, he's a pretty darn big Koopa. He's he had a lot of McDonald's, and he, he's just a pretty pretty massive dude. It's like he's like football. He's like football weights. He's like football fit. And you know what? I don't. I don't need to pay money. A hundred. A hundred coins is a lot. I mean, you could do a lot more. Or you can just do a, a lot more things uh, than just. Uh, you can do a lot more things with a hundred coins than just uh, have to pay having to pay it to some guy. So you know what? I. I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to fight. And he's just gonna back down on us. You know what? I'm. I'm fighting. I'm. I'm gonna fight. And there's nothing you can do about it, except uh, I got a tattle here. Cal Ken Kensi Koopa. This is Kensi Koopa. He's pretty greedy for such a large Koopa. Match HP 70, attack power 10, defense power 6. Jesus, just just as like twice as devastating as that anti guy. Sometimes does a stamp of attack with the shell. That attack has power of 3. His shell attack also damages party members like me, so be sure to defend. As with all Koopas, your chances will be greatly will greatly improve as if or if, if you can flip him over. His, attack, his defense power will drop. Watch it though; he'll attack as soon as uh, he's back on his feet. That that right there is uh, probably one of the most difficult factor in this battle is the fact that he can still attack if you flip him over. So he'll be able to flip over and just attack anyway. So that's that's a really uh, huge downfall and really the difficulty spike of this boss battle and he's not the hugest Koopa ever uh, I don't know Bowser all right so this we gotta really uh, focus here I think uh, with the same strategy with the anti guy I'm gonna go ahead and use a chill out because 
he has way too much uh, base attack power to be messing with, and we gotta try and reduce the amount of damage that we take by uh, as much as we can. So uh, his attack power will go down by three. And I believe it. Oh, what? Why did I not take any damage? Is it really that weak? Unless if that, that was just a weaker attack. That attack right there, I, I believe it does actually does less damage. All right, I think uh, one thing we could do is just charge it. I guess. I guess. Huh, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I guess. Just uh, say, I guess right after I say, I guess. I guess. Haha. <laughs> all right. That, all right. Enough with that. All right. Just do this. That's not working. All right. That was totally a waste. I shouldn't have done that. I, I was just a waste of waste of uh, three flower points. All right. We haven't made a scratch on him yet. Uh, I want to go with the Mega Smash, but yeah, let's go with the Mega Smash. You, you shouldn't. He's got six defense power and I'll only do four. Uh, four fortunately, uh, I think at this point, uh, Gumbar is going to be my best shot in this battle. Just have uh, when I'm ready, I'll just have I'll just have Gumbario. Uh, or I'll, I'll have Mario flip Kensi Koopa over, and then I'll have Gumbario just uh, just wipe him out. Uh, let's see here. I gotta make sure I have enough uh, flower points for my attacks too. I wanna get enough charges and then finish it off with a multi bonk. That's my strategy for, for this battle. All right, so I, I think uh, this will be. Well, let me check. Uh, all right, I'm gonna uh, charge for two more turns, and then uh, maybe maybe I'll use uh, Mario or I'll, I'll I'll use Mario's turn to heal actually, because I'm, I'm I'm gonna need uh, all the HP I can get in this battle as always. You don't want to be running dry on HP or or FP, so you can use uh, your strongest move because you don't want to hold back on this guy because because at any given moment he could uh, he could uh, find a situation where he uh, can't see Koopa could be doing more damage than uh, you are. And unfortunately, uh, Gumbari is down, and luckily his was his charge is still there. He doesn't it didn't cancel. That's a great thing. All right, we don't ha we don't have any of that. We gotta. Actually, uh, throw another chill out and try and hope that stays up until into until Gumbario can get back on his feet. Just gonna lower his attack power by three again, and we actually have to wait until Gumbario can get back. This can be like in three turns. Uh, so just uh, trying to hold out here with Mario. I believe I can actually use uh, yeah, I can use one Mega Smash, and I can maybe use one one charge. Or uh, let me actually check here. I can use the charge. Do I have any? Hmm. I don't think. Uh, let's see here. I'll go ahead and focus. I, I think that's another good option you can do. Just try and top off on on uh, on star points. Because uh, with Mario alone, there's not really that many options you can do with uh, with him because of his defense defense power being really high. And you know, jumping on him, he doesn't really do too much. He just knocks him over for for half a turn or just uh, one turn. And, and then he'll just get back up and just attack you. All right, so, hmm. Are you? Oh, wait, no, all right. Here we go. I'm gonna jump with Mario first, knock him over. That should re reduce his defense power to zero. And then we'll use not multi bonk now, and then make our move. Yep. All right, that was good. We knocked out half his HP. That's 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 pretty damn good, if you if you ask me. Is uh. Defense or attack or defense power is still down. We still gotta uh, top top off with HP. This give me my last usage of this. So I gotta try and make this count. And uh, by doing this, uh, he won't have enough attack power to. Was he? He doesn't have enough attack power to uh, wipe out my partner. That's also a really good uh, reason to be using this attack. Uh, I'm gonna use the, the last of my charges on Gumario and it's just just uh, what is it? Uh, just try and finish him off here. I'll uh, just ju jump on Mario here, jump with jump with Mario, and then just uh, head bonk. I think that's our best option here. Only well, he does two. All right. Don't want, don't I, I don't know what happened there. I guess his defense power is still active when he's flipped over. That's that's not a good sign. Plus we're out of I'm running out of options here. Another actually I've totally forgot about this, but another good option you could use in this battle is Watt because. Uh, uh, if if you if you forgot if you don't remember uh, his electro dash cancels all defense 
And actually, uh, with that, because of that factor, it actually might be a good idea to actually uh, be using this attack. And our base attack with the hammer should be, what is it, six? I think that, that wouldn't do any any good. Let's see here. Not really that many options with Mario. I think hmm, for this situation, I'm actually going to use my Wacka Bump. Thank God I have the refund badge on. Otherwise, oh, this Wacka Bump would be somewhat of a waste. But luckily, I got a lot of coins off that. And that way, uh, we're able to live here. And uh, defense power is still out. All right, let's see here. Uh, we don't have enough for uh, star power abilities. And let's see here. Not really, not really much that Mario can do except for the Mega Smash. Uh, I might as well just keep on having Mario do the Mega Smash. And from where this is going, uh, he should be, he should be dead in the next uh, few turns as long as I can hit my extra commands and really, if that chill out can last a little, lo little bit longer. Plus, to try and get the elect as much electro da electro dash as I can. Power, power bounce doesn't do that much because apparently, uh, you know, damage is not really any anything really. Let me go ahead and just get the electro dash out the way. All right, he's down with five. He's not gonna. He's gonna survive with the Mega Smash because this only does four. And I believe uh, he, he he will be dead either way. I have enough. Oh jeez, he has. Oh, just does seven. It's just really crazy. Why don't I just do this? Just just for lols. One. You're dead. All right. Uh, all right. Good thing we got that level up. Uh, all right. So we did t two tough. Uh, boss battles here. I'm gonna go uh, for the remainder of my level ups. I think I'm just gonna focus on flower points. That'll be pretty useful for us later on. But we beat uh, two tough b battles. I think that's all I I'm really gonna do in this in this part. Uh, I think in the next part we'll actually uh, head off to uh, the next chapter. So to next time for chapter seven, part one, as we're going to head head off to where we can find the last star spirit. So till then, see you guys later.